Hello class of 2021. My name is Valen Nagarajan Soligar Shamaganavan, and I'm the valedictorian for the Garfield graduating class of 2021. Now, valedictorian, salutatorian, what do these words mean? It's Latin for something important. I mean, who cares? It's not really that important. It doesn't matter. Don't worry, I know some of you thought I was going to deliver a really long, drawn out, overdone speech, but I know most of you just want to skip to getting your diploma, so I'll try to keep things brief. First, I would like to share a piece of advice one of my dad's friends told me that made a significant impact on me. Every time you meet a new person, assume they are a good person. I understand we all have our preconceived ideas and assumptions about each other, and it's so easy to be judgmental, especially on the internet. But that is just why our generation specifically needs to work on not falling for these lazy guesses and assumptions. Now, other people very well might not live up to your good faith and good values and you know, good assumptions about them. But I believe the most important thing is that we as people are looking for the best in others. And I believe that if we keep that mentality, it will bear rewards. Next, I would like to present my thanks. First, I would like to give my thanks on behalf of our class to all the parents and Garfield teachers, staff, and faculty that worked tirelessly to make these stressful circumstances work. These were very stressful times, and we would not be here without your continued and never-ending support. On a personal level, I would like to thank my brother for always being there for me whenever I needed him. I would like to thank my father for pushing me to be better in every aspect of my life. I would like to thank my mother for giving me and showing me the strength to keep pushing and trying and believing in myself, especially when I did not think I had a reason to believe in myself. I would not be here without you, so thank you, Mom. I love you. I would also like to thank my grandparents for showing me the value of hard work and determination. If you all never had the courage to leave your homes and come to this country, I would have never had the blessed life I have today. And I'm sure this is a sentiment that many of the graduating class feel towards their parents and grandparents. So thank you all. I would also like to thank my extended family and friends that have provided such a wonderful support structure and gave me your time and guidance and patience whenever I had any issues whatsoever. I would also like to thank my teachers who have made such tremendous efforts to challenge and improve me both as a student and as a person. Also, a uh, quick apology for all the last minute assignment submissions, uh, especially Mr. A. Um, I promise I won't procrastinate I'll procrastinate let you know let's just move on lastly I would like to thank God I have not always had the best relationship with God as a Hindu throughout the years but especially recently he has become an undeniable presence in my life that I am truly thankful for and as I look out at our class here I am reminded of that advice from my dad's friend however I do not need to assume you all are good people I have seen it now yes to be fair some people have acted less good at certain times me included, we're only human. Uh, I do genuinely believe each and every one of you has shown you are a good person. Your parents have seen it, your friends have seen it, and even your teachers have seen just how kind and compassionate and caring you are. And ultimately, that's what is important. I know there's a common tendency for students to ask, well, what will I do with anything I've learned in school? Well, I would argue the most important lesson is not the academic element, it's not the math, it's not the science, it's not the art, it's how to be a good person. It's important because 12 years of education in Prince William County helped transform you all into good people that deserve to be cared for and loved for and appreciated by others. And for my closing statement, I searched all over for an inspirational quote. Everywhere from Nicki Minaj lyrics to my relative's constant stream of inspiring Facebook posts. But ultimately, I think I'm gonna keep things simple and leave you all with a very personal mantra. Be good be loved, and above all, make sure you have some fun.